Hey everyone, it's Steph. I'm back with another fantastic video for the month of February. And I'm going to be talking about the main change. There's two main changes this month. The first one not affecting us so much. The second one definitely affecting us. The first one is that you are now allowed to pin apps directly from the App Store to Pinterest. I really don't think that's going to change what we do a whole lot. Unless you happen to own an app or you um, have developed an app for your website, I really don't think that's going to be a huge change for most bloggers. Bloggers that do have an app, I think this is major for them and could really help their app you know, grow and reach more people. But for those of us that don't have an app for our website, I really just don't think it's going to make a whole lot of difference. So I think that the value in this uh, new thing is whether or not you have an app or not for your site. So uh, definitely if, if you do have one, you want to be promoting it as much as possible, now would be the time to be asking other pinners and bloggers to repin the app that you have, um, asking them to you know grow. I also think that <clears throat> this may be a good thing, you know, opportunity for pinners to promote apps for app owners. So in other words, we might, maybe we'll see an uptick in, you know, companies that, hey, you know, will pay to promote their app. Not, excuse me, not so sure that that'll really, um, you know, trickle down to bloggers through sponsored posts or sponsored pins, that you might see some of that, you know, if you're a part of some of those companies that pay you to promote their pins or pay you to promote certain pins, you know, those kinds of um, opportunities may arise a little bit more. But the main thing I'm concerned about this month more than anything is that uh, they announced, um, I saw on VentureBeat this month that one, um, some select power pinners have been told that they are not going to be able to pin affiliate links anymore. And it actually says here, Pinterest warns select power pinners that it will now automatically remove all affiliate links, redirects, and trackers on pins, specifically to this reward style and Hello Society affiliate networks. And while that doesn't, I, I don't necessarily work with those affiliate companies right now, and I don't know if you do or not, but I definitely think that this is just one more way that a social media um, channel is going to limit affiliate marketing on their, on their platform. And again, I don't think this is going to affect traffic. For those of us, but I have seen a lot of bloggers who, you know, like if this would go to Amazon, and I think it eventually will if they remove Amazon affiliate uh, links, I have seen lots of deal bloggers and frugal bloggers in our niche who have promoted products directly onto Pinterest. Basically, putting a picture of an Amazon product on a post, linked to that Amazon, you know, linking through their Amazon links, and then I've seen them promote that on Pinterest. You know, if this would go to coupons.com, I've seen, and <clears throat> I've done it as well back when I was still deal blogging a lot, you know, I would, you know, post a coupon directly onto Pinterest. And so it looks like they're going to be really removing a lot of that. And so that's just, you know, kind of concerning. One more way that they're stripping affiliate marketing and definitely why, you know, you need to be diversified. You know, we say this all the time. I've been saying this for the last year. While it, Pinterest is great for traffic, <clears throat> I definitely don't know that, <clears throat> excuse me, any affiliate marketing will be directly put on social media anymore. You know, I guess you can still do it on Google+. Plus. You can do it on Facebook. It's just not going to reach anybody and Twitter as well. But definitely has changed the game for those that were blogging specifically for um, affiliate marketing directly onto their social media. So they are looking to, <clears throat> you know, it says here, we are removing affiliate links to ensure we're providing the best possible experience for pinners. You know, we've observed affiliate links and redirects causing irrelevant pins and bro feeds, broken links, and they consider that spammy behavior. So you definitely may want to back off on that a little bit. I don't, I don't consider any of us to be maybe right now a power pinner. I think they're talking about people who have a million followers or more, or definitely in the hundreds of thousands, but I do think it will eventually trickle down because they'll probably come up with, you know, an algorithm or a way to quickly remove them, and maybe they're already doing that, but it looks like they're really trying to, you know, they want to pay to play. They want you to pay to play. They want to make Pinterest this great experience for pinners, and most pinner, pinners won't even notice this change. Just, it says right here about angry bloggers, which I'm like, but it's likely that a majority of Pinterest users won't notice the change at all aside from a horde of angry bloggers. Well, you know, probably fashion bloggers and maybe even some food bloggers. But they're saying that basically, you know, Pinterest came out with a statement that, you know, <clears throat> um, you know, looking to do high quality content. This is actually from Hello Society, but she says through high quality content campaigns. So I'm guessing that what they're looking for is more sponsored posts could be done on Pinterest. 
you're going to have to put the hashtag ad or sponsored in your description. And so that's kind of what I wanted to show you on my feed as well. I've done a lot of sponsored posts in the last several months. And so I wanted to show you how I've done that on my Pinterest feed when I'm pinning. So right now I'm doing not, not necessarily paid. We got a free phone with free AT&T service for a couple months for Lumia Switch. And you can see here, I wrote finding apps with the Nokia Lumia 8, Windows 8 phone, and I put sponsored. But here's another example with collective bias where I actually put ad as <coughs> a hashtag, excuse me, in the description so that people know that this is a sponsored post. Now this one, I did it, and it came out only in down here, not up here. For Macaroni Grill, it just put spawn, sponsored, which I had done spawn for short for sponsored as well a couple times in those sponsored posts. So you can see that, um, and also in the top of each link post, I mean each post, I do a disclosure that it's, you know, it, you know obviously I put that typical dis sponsored post disclosure at the top of each of these posts. But here's another one for social fabric I did with Pennzoil and Walmart. Putting ad. Again, here with Minute Race, it came up in the description. So I'm not sure why. I guess maybe it has to do with the length and the way Pinterest pulls some of those things. But you can see that sometimes it comes up in the, in the, in the actual link right here or the actual description right here it comes up in the description down here so this is I've done a lot of sponsored posts in the last year and so you can see that I've definitely you know here's another one for CVS you know where I made my own Pinterest pin sometimes they send me what they want me to post picture wise sometimes like this one I'm doing the collage here it was a coupon for macaroni and grill and I just had to post the picture of what they did and then I'm you know working with other bloggers sometimes to promote some of those sometimes I'm not like this Disney one, obviously if I get a free DVD, I'm not going to necessarily um, leverage that because I'm not getting paid for that. Um, I, and I actually don't put ad in that one because while it's, it's I'm, I guess I need to start doing that. It is provided free to me. I have the disclosure, but I don't necessarily put ad in my social media, which I need to start doing. So this is just an example of how Pinterest really, I guess, once is saying, okay, it's okay for you to do sponsored posts if you're doing your own pictures and you know it's not using an affiliate link you're okay but again eventually that will trickle down so my number one tip for, for you right now is to always include ad in that description or the disclosure you know in the post and to always still be trying to reach your fans more through you know just organic content recipes and crafts and do it yourself I still think that's the number one way to gain readership from Pinterest and to keep people coming back to your site and then once they're on their site hoping that they'll click around obviously that kills affiliate traffic and isn't anywhere near the earnings that I saw when I was posting more affiliates but the the name of blogging the game of blogging has changed and so I'm having to adapt with it and so I still think this is the number one way to use this platform and hopefully you guys are doing that as well so let me know if you have any tips anything you're noticing I definitely want to hear what's going on with you guys comment in the Facebook group as well so hopefully you guys are having a great month and these are the number one changes for Pinterest in the month of February